Hello. I wanted to share with you a story that I find hilarious in the Bible. It's Numbers chapter 22 in the King James Version. And it's about a man named... Oh, what was his name? Balaam. B-A-L-A-A-M. And Balaam was essentially a prophet of that time. Now, there was a king, and this is during the time when the Israelites left Egypt and hadn't had a land to live in yet. But they were conquering all over the place. And the king said, sent messengers to Balaam to ask him to come to him. So the messengers go, they bring sacks of gold, and say, come, the king would like to talk to you. And Balaam says, I have to do what the Lord says. Let me go pray. So Balaam prays. And the Lord says, no. So Balaam comes back. Sorry, can't do it. Servants go back to the king. He says, no. The king says, well, go back. Give him more money. I need him to come here. So they go back to Balaam. Balaam prays again. The Lord says, no. <sighs> Balaam tells the servants, no. Servants go tell the king. King says, give him more money. King, servants go back. They give him even more money. Balaam goes, prays. The Lord goes, I already told you. But if you're going to do it, make sure, make very sure you are doing only what I tell you to do. So he leaves, quite happily, on his donkey. Yay! His servant, the servants have already gone ahead. They're not standing there. They need to go prepare for this very important man that the king sent three times with three bags of gold to go take care of. And as he's riding on his donkey, very pleased with himself, the donkey sees an angel in the middle of the road. He sees him on the left-hand side of the road. So the donkey goes to the right hand, not wanting to be killed, not wanting his master, Balaam, to be killed by the angel. Makes sense. Very nice donkey. And Balaam gets mad because the donkey is now in a ditch and it's not fun. All the grass is hitting his legs. It hurts. It's ripping his legs. So he hits the donkey. And drags the donkey back over to the middle of the road. So the donkey goes on for a little while longer. Then he sees the angel again. And now they're against the wall. On, there's a wall on the right, left-hand side, and the angel is standing on the right-hand side of the road with a sword in his hand, ready to kill Balaam. So the donkey squeezes up against the left-hand side of the wall, squishing rather badly, it sounds like, Balaam's left leg. Balaam hits the donkey. <laughs> Do that. Donkey just like a. Uh, we don't actually know the donkey's response. That's my interpretation. Then the donkey sees the angel standing in the middle of the road with a wall on either side of some sort. So he stops. Just. I'm not going anywhere. And Balaam gets off the donkey and starts beating it. And this is the reason why I love this story. Because the Lord permits the donkey to speak in a way that Balaam can understand. And says, why are you hitting me? And instead of Balaam going, ah, my donkey's talking. He goes, because you're being an ass. You're hitting. You are not obeying me. At which point, the Lord then opens Balaam's eyes. And Balaam looks and sees an angel with a sword in his hand, standing in the middle of the road. And he's like, oh, sorry. Sorry. I'll go home now. I'll, I'll go that way. And the angel goes, no. Now that you understand how important it is, make sure you obey and say only what the Lord tells you to say. So Balaam, so that's part one of this story.